In the 1950s, the U.S. Department of Agriculture was spraying more than a quarter million kilograms of pesticides each year. Silent Spring by Rachel Carson revealed that pesticides like DDT were lethal not only for insects but for all living things. Linda Lear is the author of a biography on Carson. Silent Spring essentially told the reading public that human beings could alter the natural world in ways that were quite deadly and that could be potentially lethal to human beings as well as to other parts of the natural world. More than six million copies of the book have been sold in the U.S. It's been translated into some 30 languages. In the Washington suburbs, the house where Carson wrote Silent Spring is now a National Historic Landmark. Carson was a pathbreaker. Again, Linda Lear. In Silent Spring, she's writing in a voice that's what I call apocalyptic writing. She is trying to sound an alarm to get our attention. Silent Spring. 30 years after Silent Spring was published, public television, in its program The American Experience, called it one of the most important books of our time. But there were dissenters. Norman Borlaug, the 1970 Nobel Peace Prize winner, led the defense of pesticides. We're having troubles now feeding this hungry world. You remove DDT with the with the hysteria that's present in the USA, the U.S. will be importing food, only there won't be any place from where to import it. By 1972, DDT was banned for agricultural use in the U.S., but thousands of new chemicals were being developed. For years, the U.S. Senate's Committee on the Environment has been trying to ban or control hundreds of chemicals from agricultural products and consumer goods. Democratic Senator Frank Lautenberg. And this committee heard from CDC officials who told us their scientists found 212 industrial chemicals, including six carcinogens coursing through America's bodies. In 2006, the World Health Organization announced plans to use DDT again indoors in its campaign against malaria. Syngenta is a major producer of agricultural chemicals. Like others in the industry, it says its chemicals are safe if used properly. Tim Pastor is the company's principal scientist. We try and do every single study that's necessary to support the safety characteristics of, of the product. Fifty years after Silent Spring, millions of kilograms of new pesticides and other chemicals are being sprayed across U.S. farmlands. And the environmental movement is still fighting back. This is Sulima Palacio, VOA News, Washington.